Hey guys, it's Harvey, and we are exploring the multiverse today. We're gonna start a. We're gonna try doing this out on Wednesday morning of free com or new comic book day. Calm down. Uh, by the way, happy new comic book day, everybody. Uh, as you can see, Andrew has been replaced by the much. Oh no! What a rookie move. Hey, Dave's watching me. What up, Dave? Um, uh, Andrew's been replaced by the very talented child from the Mandalorian series. If you haven't been watching, uh. Spoiler alert. Anyway, hey, don't touch my, my cocoa. Yeah, I don't I don't need coffee. Does this seem like the kind of guy that needs to be caffeinated? Oh gosh. Anyway, uh hey John's watching. Get back to work, John. Um anyway, yeah, so we're gonna check out all the cool stuff coming out on uh new comic book day. How's it going, James? Uh this week, today, uh Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. I've already got people outside trying to get inside. We don't open for another half hour-ish. But uh, whatever, you know, hopefully they get the picture. Anyway, so right off the bat, I had to check because uh, I knew a girl who does, a, who did, does, I don't know if she still does it, um, a webcomic called Adler's Watch, which was amazing. You guys should check it out, adlerswatch.com, hashtag still not sponsored. Uh, anyway, this book is Adler by Titan Comics, and I flipped through it. It looks pretty, pretty snazzy. You should check it out. Um, continuing with uh, indie number ones, we got the After Realm by Michael Avon Aiming. I think he said he's like he pronounced his last name Aiming. Um, he's from Powers fame, uh, from um, with uh, Brian Michael Bendis back before he got all super, uh, uh, which was a super book about supers. It was fantastic. You should go watch it, read it, whatever. Uh, the TV show wasn't so good. Not I wasn't too much of a fan. Uh, I mean, I watched it, but yeah. I was a little disappointed. Anyway, uh, this reminds me that last week we did a uh, giveaway um, with uh, with a statue. Let's go get Emma. Be right back. Don't touch my chocolate cocoa. And I'm looking for her. I don't see her. Oh, here she is. Hi, Founder. Whew. But dang. So let's pick a winner, shall we? Uh, do, 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 do. I am going to look at the people that shared last week's video. It was a pretty big deal, you know. Uh, let's look at videos. Let's look at last week. Well, I said look at last week. Oh, come on, stop loading stuff. There we go. Boop. Um, and it looks like I am going to give it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We had eight eligible shares. And hey, Siri, are you not going to do it because I'm watching a video? Are you not going to do it because I'm watching a video? No, now I'm stuck. Okay, let me go grab a D8. You know, hey Dave, you're watching. Roll me D8. Pick a number between one and eight. Dave can make can pick the winner. What up, Daniel? Daniel's watching. Anyway, continue on while we wait for Dave Whiteman to uh, give me a random number between one and eight. We move on to Ant Man number one. Boop. Who doesn't love a little Ant Man in their life? Uh huh. Uh, from Oni, we got number one of Backtrack, which is littered with number ones right out the gate. Look at that. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Is Dave still watching? Did I lose Dave? Hey, Paula's watching. How you doing, Paula? All right. James, Dave left. James, give me a, a number between one and eight. All right. Uh, Batman, number 88. Swords cross, assassins bleed. Doot doot. Go that way. And from the 100 page giants, we got Batman number. What number is this? Number three. Boop. There we go. All right. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Gwen Stacy number one is coming out soon, so they're doing all of the, uh, all the uh, the variants for that. So here we got Black Cat number nine. Gwen Stacy variant. 
Now, if you don't see another cover, you'll, it's probably because we don't have any more of any of the, yep. So, there were other covers, but we've been having more and more people subscribe to stuff and it's eating into our shelf copies. So, you know, you won't want to get it on that subscription stuff. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Hellmouth, number 12. And this was a really cool one. The Butcher of Paris. This is number three. I still have number one and number two. You should check it out. You guys are all killing me. All right, I'm just going to random number Jesus here real quick. Random number, boop, one through eight. And we have, oh, come on, you can't just, come on, Google. Go. All right. Do, 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 do. So it's number three, and third one is one, two, three, RJ. Congratulations, RJ. You won Emma Frost. Um, and uh, Sloan's having some difficulty with the door over there, but I'm sure you can figure it out. You think shushing me is going to shush me? I know better. Yeah, you do. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, tag RJ in that. Congrats to at RJ for winning the Emma Frost statue. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh, Paula is loving Baby Yoda. Who keeps trying to take my uh, my cocoa? Stay away from my cocoa, Yoda, or baby child. It's a baby. As the owner of a baby, I attest it is a baby. A 50-year-old baby. It's a baby. All right, anyway, moving on. Uh, Sloan hasn't picked my uh, my pop to give away this week, but uh, RJ won by liking and sharing this video publicly. We had a lot more people share the video, but uh, only eight of you did it publicly. So that's who the wiener was. And I don't know if you can see it back there, but we got... Mando kind of stalking me in the background, making sure I don't put Baby in a bag and punch him or anything like that. Uh, continuing with the end series, we've got Captain America. Doo -doo -doo. And then Conan, Battle for the Serpent Crown, number one. I don't know if there's anything special about this cover, because the one is in red, or if it's just because Conan and Blood. Hey, Angela's watching. What's going on, Angela? Crone, number four. I don't know if you can see from right here, but this is the last copy I've got. So it's been picking up steam. It's a good one. You should come check it out. Ah, we got Crowded back. Crowded, number 11. Crowded, as we have been told, is uh, has been optioned by Rebel Wil uh, Wilson? Rebel Williams. Wilson? Wilson? Rebel Wilson's production company when she is... Uh, Hoping to play the part of the uh, the protagonist, Iser nominee, best new series, Glad nominee, outstanding comic. Then we got Def Defney. Def. Hey, Tacker's watching. What's going on? And Ben Smith says our store is awesome. His son and he enjoy it. Well, thanks, Ben. We're glad you like it. Uh, Daphne Bar Burnt. Oh my God, I'm going back to sleep. All right, that's the one. Bam. This is what we're giving out next week. Like and share this video, and you will be entered into a contest to win it. Uh, Daphne Byrne from uh, Joe Hill's Hill House imprint over at DC, number two. Dark Agnes, number one. Dun, dun, dun. And because we're coming up on uh, Valentine's Day, also known as Singles Awareness Day, um... DC's Crimes of Passion. Number one, Catwoman and Nightwing. Why? Aren't you a detective? We're in love. Yeah. I don't think so, man. Anyway, Disney Pixar, The Incredibles 2, Slow Burn, issue number one. This is volume two, issue one. I actually still read The Incredibles. My son may or may not have been named after Jack Dive. Stop taking the name. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. May or may not have been named after Jack Jack, just so I can call him Jack Jack, but don't tell his mom. I, he was something named after Jack Burton.
Anyway, moving on, we got Dr. Doom number five. Boop. G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, issue number 270. Ooh, this is an ominous. I would, I would buy this only because of the cover. We got Gideon Falls number 21. If this was a movie, I would watch it just because of what's on the, what, of, of the poster, of the cover. I am judging this book by its cover, and it's good. Glow versus the baby face, number four. And I only see cover A over here. And, ooh, can you grab the, the fancy variants for me? Uh, does that have a cover B? There should be a, yeah, here we go. There's a cover B. Uh, I know John had had it set aside for you. The question is, uh, where? Are there, are there other ones? There were only th uh, those two. Plus no, no, the, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, uh, there were other books with variants that got missed. Um... I'm not sure if this is a, a, a cutting pro No, this looks like it was, that's just the art for G.I. Joe. Real American Hero, Snake Hunt, part five. You guys miss any other jerks? Yeah, looks like Ant-Man got missed one. That's fine, that's fine. All right, this is one I've been waiting for. This is Harvey's pick of the week. The Immortal Hulk, great power, number one, because... Hulk isn't scary enough. Banner wakes up and the Hulk is gone, but the Hulk being immortal, where did he go? Peter Parker wakes up with the Hulk. Oh my gosh. And not like in a, uh, you know, eight pints into the night and just whatever's at the end of the bar. It's, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't pretty. Okay. Morning, Harvey. Hey, morning, Chris Utah's watching. Brian King's watching. Well, it's in your store, so didn't you technically buy it? Buy, buy what? What's he mean? I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean? What do you mean? And there's Scott. Hey, Scott, why don't you let that guy in so he's not freezing? Oh, hey. No, I just don't want you freezing your butt off out there. <laughs> All right, then we got Harlequin number 70. We are live, so... Just putting you up in just in case you, you are like in witness protection. <laughs> this one was a lot of fun. It's taken forever for it to come out, but going to the chapel number four. Yeah, and do the chapel. I, you know, I, I think it's um, Skyrim music is the only stuff we can safely push out. It's oh, well, you are performing, like, it, performing it. It's different. And it's less than 10 seconds. Which actually isn't a thing. No. That's not a law. Just like, oh, as long as you change at least 40%, that's actually not a thing. Yep. Yeah, we can go in that. Say what? Yeah, what? What, Paul? I don't know what you're talking about. And Laura's watching. Chris says, good morning. Would love to stay and watch, but I think work would frown on it. Aren't you like the IT manager? Can't you just... It's, it's for your job, you know? Uh, and this is... This makes me feel better about selling my copy because this is in better condition. But Green Lantern number one, I used to have one, and I way, way, way undersold it. Uh, uh, it was in crummy condition anyway. Uh, then we got Joe Hill's Daphne Byrne number two. So somewhere further than I knew there was another cover. There you go. And from Black Label, Joker Harley Criminal Insanity number three. But dang. <laughs> About Hulk. What about Hulk? The comic you said you would buy. Oh, well, yeah, but that's the store's money. I'm talking about my money. You, know, you got to keep them separate, commingling funds. The government doesn't look that kindly upon that sort of thing. Got to keep them separate. Yep. All right. Stay. All right, moving on to Justice League number 40. Boop, move that down. Lois Lane number 8. I mean, there's something kind of sexy about that one right there. She's like, I'm the super one now. She's had power some more times than I can remember. And the Magicians! Number four? Is that four? Yeah, number four. Boop. We don't have many of those left. That's another one that people have been uh, picking up. You should try it. You should check that one out. We don't get many for the wall. Um, Justice League Odyssey, number 18. Just love that cover art. Now we got Sloan's pick of the week, and I've been looking forward to this one. The man who, I, I need you to beat me out here, okay? The man who picked up time. There we go. Let's see if that worked, if I get any complaints about that one. I, no, I can say fuck once, and it's, still, it's not rated R. Correct. There it is. 
But you did make me lose my count on this. So. Yeah, you're welcome. So I'm getting the drawer ready. The things we got to do. Yeah, there you go. Network load testing. Yeah, let's let's, uh, let's let Chris. Hey, Chris shared it. Yeah. Yeah, Chris. No, not Chris Pickens. Chris Uchel is network load testing. Thanks, Brian. All right, Manifest Destiny, number 41. Such a good book. Um, from the X-Men Dawn of X, it's Marauders, number seven. The Mart, number nine. Nine? Four, I'm way off. That's just how exciting it is. It just feels like nine issues have been. All right, and then the end. Uh, not, not the end, because that's Marvel. Uh, the uh, final issue of Martian Manhunter, number 12. What a shame. It has come too quickly. Marvel Avengers Hulk from the Gamerverse, number one. And then Miles Morales Spider-Man, the Gwen Stacy variant, number 15. We have, yeah, we have more covers over here. Oop. There's uh, another Marvel Avengers, the Hulk, number one. Uh, there's more. We've got Spider-Man and Money Shot in the same spot. Anyway, Money Shot, number four. I haven't read past number two. Uh, not because it's bad. It depends on you ask, and it's about sensibility and taste. But it's hilarious, and I just, I can only read so many books, you know. Uh, Nomen Omen, number five. It says, wake up on the back. Am I asleep? Am I dreaming? Is this a dream? Yes. All right, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> All right, uh, all right. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number three? Three? Three. Two. This is the second print, number two. Boop. I know there's more in there. That far corner. Yeah. There are more of them, I promise you. I'm just too lazy to get up again. Red Sonja, number 13. I really like that cover, especially because she's holding someone's disembodied head. Now, I actually didn't look at the solicitation. Uh, I didn't read it. I just saw Savage Avengers. Yeah, grab it. Uh, but Savage Avengers number zero. No idea what's going on or why we need a number zero. Um, I'm glad that, I mean, number zeros, the concept of them was pretty cool originally, but I'm not sure I like them so much since they abused the ever-living crap out of them. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's going on. All right. V.E. Schwab's Shades of Magic, The Steel Prince, and The Rebel Army. Oh, no. The Rebel Army, no and. Number three. Hmm. There's a lot going on there. Nominated for the Goodreads Choice Awards of 2019, so you know, check that out. Sherlock, a scandal in Belgravia. Belgravia. I said Belgravia. Number three. Let's see what I said. Uh, Spider-Man Venom, Double Trouble, number four. This this is just it's hilarious. Don't let the juvenile art throw you off. Um, if you ever want to know what it was like for all the spider kids to be Basically, roommates. Here you go. It's friends with no benefits. All right. Spider-Verse number five featuring Spider-Man Noir. Dun, dun, dun. That's creepy. I love that art. And returning to the prince from Scout Comics, Stabity Bunny number nine, which is as funny as it sounds. And, you know, it looks an awful lot like my bunny Clyde. Uh, my my own little homicidal lagomorph, and I may need to talk to my lawyer. Um, Star Wars Darth Vader number one, which I believe we have a review of going up on our website, if not there already, shortly. Strike Force number six, which I was like, eh, I don't, I don't really see why we need this book, but it's fun. Fun in that it's not fun. But we're three. Uh, the Superior AOC, number two. That's going to be for uh, Andrew's mom. She's not here, but she'll buy it. It's all right, Andrew. We'll be back. And then I can go back to putting you in a bag and punching you. All right, Swordmaster, number eight, with the voices of the damned. I read this one last night. It is fantastic. From Scout Comics, it's the same guys that did Savity Bunny. Tart, number one. 
Touching Evil, number three, from Source Point, Source, Source Point Press. And uh, we are fans of Source Point Press. They've been putting out some amazing stuff here. Um, Usagi Yojimbo, number eight. Love that. If you like Ninja Turtles, you should check it out. And then Vengeance of Vampirella, number five. It's just amazing art. They always do the greatest art cover things. And this is the one I've been waiting for. Uh, this is uh, Terry. I know we've got more on that one. I'm not getting up. Anyway, um, X Men and Fantastic Four, number one. Chip Zdarsky, Dodson, Dodson, and Martin. Zdarsky, Dodson, Dodson, and Martin. Sounds like a legal firm. Anyway. Chip Zdarsky is the genius behind Daredevil right now, and the Dodsons are just an amazing art couple. Of what? Speaking of legal firms, check out Sex Criminals, also by Zdarsky and Matt Fraction. And then Young Justice number thirteen. I'll admit I'm a few issues behind. I have no idea what's going on there, but it's enough to make me want to get caught up. Warlord pops up. Yeah. But Connor this is Warlord. This is what it looks like. Oh, yeah. So it shows up in the land. All right. Cool. Um, oh, John says there's one copy of uh, each, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, AOC in Andrew's box. That's great. So we are going to have a launch party for Wolverine number one. We're getting a metric butt ton. How much is that in standard measurements? A shitload. A shitload. A shitload. Um, just remember, kids, there are two types of countries out there, those that use the metric system and those that have been to the moon. Just saying. Uh, the American medical system does use uh, metric, though, so enjoy that. Uh, Wolverine number one, lots of covers, lots of, lots of uh, uh, issues of each of those covers, so make sure you come out for that. And we will be getting, this is an $8 book, but we're going to be slashing, snicked, slashing prices on those things if you order or if you pick up more than one variant. Uh, and as always, we'll be giving away the, uh, one of the premier variants, so check it on that. This is the popper giving away. In case I didn't say it, like and share the video for a chance to be getting that. you got to make sure you're doing it publicly, uh, or otherwise we can't see it. Uh, so what's going on this week? Uh, tonight we've got Commander uh, for Magic. It's a lot of fun. It's found out it's actually one of the... It's the one format that more new players play than any other which is mind-boggling because there are more nuanced uh, directions you can go with it. The rules are a little more complicated than just straight magic. Um, but it's my favorite. Uh, unfortunately, I can't play because I am running a Dungeons & Dragons game. That's right, we got D&D &D tonight. D&D &D almost every night. Uh, I think Sunday. Do we have games kicking off Sunday? Uh, so. We have Middle Earth on Sunday. Yeah. Um, Mondays don't usually have a game, and Thursdays don't normally have a game. But every other night. Okay, so uh, we got a Middle Earth, which is based on 5e um it's their uh their rule set um you've got mondays in case you guys are looking to start a new group and don't want to get bogged down mondays and thursdays is a good day otherwise come out tuesday wednesday friday and saturday and saturday we got junior league which is where we teach all the new players how to play this saturday or friday we have uh tonight's commander tomorrow's pioneer um friday we got friday night magic standard modern and commander are the ones that we try to push and saturday we are having an Ultimate Masters draft. And yeah, that's right. I got a box topper. So uh, one player will win that box topper. We do have a minimum and maximum of eight players for this draft. So if we don't get all eight, it doesn't kick off. If we, uh, yeah, Saturdays are still for D&D, &D, Brian. Um, if we don't get eight, to, it won't kick off. If more than eight people show up, well, we've already cut it off at eight. So do, do, do check in because we do not have um, uh, enough for all the people who are interested. Angela's saying, Ladies Guild, uh, Angela needs to let me know these things so I can put it on the schedule and talk about it and promote it. Um, so sounds like there's a Ladies Guild game going on, which is for our lady nerds. Uh, so if you're interested in having a ladies only game, there you go. Uh, Sunday, we're having a two-headed giant magic competition, so that'll be fun. It'll be a sealed event, $25 per person. You get your six packs. You build um, two decks with all 12 packs with your partner, and then you guys act as one body moving uh, between the faces together. So that's excitement. Um, the 15th, we've got our next uh, trivia night with the tall bearded guy. And I am not the tall bearded guy. I'm only the bearded guy. 
apparently six foot is average height these days, so what are you going to do? Anyway, uh, it's been fun, guys. Corinne's watching. I miss you, Corinne. Um, oh, watch party. I didn't start a watch party. I could have had more viewers. Look at that. Uh, anyway, these numbers are pretty good for being a set or 9.30 in the morning show. Jeff is watching just in time for me to say thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit the stop button. And I'll see you guys next week. This is your payment for us letting you have come in the heat. <laughs> hey, Scott's watching. Bye, Scott. Where, where are we at? <laughs> Let me see. I know, right? Where, where'd it go? <laughs> there we go. Oh.